the Lagotto Romagnolo can really mambo Italiano. I just like the name, Lagotto Romagnolo. I would consider getting one just so I could say that name again and again. The breed is so rare, there are only about 500 Lagotto in the U.S. But the breed is famous in its native Italy as a seeker of a rare mushroom called truffles, a delicacy more expensive than even caviar. Lagotto may be rare, but they are a very old breed. In fact, the Lagotto is the foundation dog for all water dogs. That means the Lagotto is the great-grandfather to poodles, Portuguese water dogs, and golden retrievers, to name a few. Lagottos do like to run and hunt and swim and dig. Though medium-sized, the Lagotto is robust with powerful, long, straight legs. Like the poodle and the Portuguese water dog, the Lagotto is covered with a dense, curly coat of hair. Color varieties include brown, gray, and white. Coats can be solid or have patches of color. You really want to run your fingers through this dog's coat because it's just soft and curly. A thick neck and wide chest complete the picture of a small but strong dog. So their digging ability is unbelievable. The origins of the Lagotto go deep into Italian history, predating even the Romans. Images of the Lagotto can be found in art that is centuries old. Like all water retrievers, they were first used to hunt waterfowl. In fact, lago means lake in Italian. They are a dog that probably couldn't think of anything they'd rather do than go swimming. In the 19th century, the marshlands in the Lagotto's native Emilia-Romagna were drained. Water fouling ceased and the Lagotto nearly went extinct. But luckily, the few remaining Lagotto found favor among truffle hunters. Thanks to the truffle hunters, there was enough breeding stock left to bring the Lagotto back from the brink of extinction. Preserving the Lagotto means preserving a piece of Italy, a piece of our history. The Lagotto has always been a working dog, and it is today a working dog. That's something that people here in Aquilonia, Italy, have known for generations. This is one of the richest truffle-producing regions in the world. The Lagotto breed is very important in Italy because of the business around the truffle. Elisa and her husband Lorenzo hunt truffles. They rely on their Lagotto to seek out this rare, delicious delicacy. In some seasons, the price of one pound of white truffles reaches over $2,500. Black truffles can be around $400 per pound. If you have good dogs, you are sure that you will find truffles. Tom is Elisa and Lorenzo's most experienced truffle hunting Lagotto. Two young dogs, Millie and Mitzi, are hoping to get their first taste of virgin truffles. Mila. For Elisa, truffle hunting is inspired by a love of nature and the Lagotto. You can have a special feeling with your dog because he understands that you are asking him to search something and uh, it's very exciting. For him, uh, the hunting is like a play. The day starts out slowly. The young dogs are unfocused. Truffle hunting is a boom or bust business. Sometimes weeks go by without finding anything. But just as Lorenzo and Elisa are about to call it a day, Tom hits on something. It's a huge black truffle. Now the young dogs start to get in on the action. They find another truffle, then another. Elisa and Lorenzo's Lagotos have struck truffle gold. These dogs are trained from birth to use their keen noses to seek out truffles, but have no desire to eat them. When they dig out a truffle, they get a doggy treat. What looked like a tough day at first has turned into a bonanza. They may not know how much truffles are worth, but pleasing their owners is priceless. They are very happy because they uh, understand that you are happy. They want that you are happy. Il Lagotto è stato la le gioie della mia vita. The Lagotto's well-honed nose has made it a staple with Italian truffle hunters for generations. 
Recently, the rest of the world has gotten to know the Lagoto as a family pet. The Lagoto is also a great family dog. They have a strong affinity for children. This is a very versatile dog, but it will do better with space to roam. This is a breed that has a high propensity for digging, so either supervise them or give them a special little digging pit, like a sandbox for kids. Like the Poodle, the Lagoto has a non-shedding coat that must be cut regularly. You need to keep them brushed because you do need to keep the coat from matting. This is generally considered a healthy and robust dog. But there are problems with hip dysplasia and epilepsy among some breeding lines. The Lagoto is born to please. Paw, you want to give me the other paw? Good girl. There you go. The Lagoto Romagnolo is a versatile breed that will need space to run and dig. It's generally healthy, though some breeding lines have issues. Lagoto require regular grooming. They're an easy dog to train and do well with children. The Lagotto is a very special dog. I fell in love with this breed. When our special Dogs 101 continues, meet the dog made famous as a hot water bottle. This rare breed has one mission in life, scare the daylights out of bears. And the best place to find this dog is in the jungles of New Guinea.